welcome back to the Meze YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you are interested in the title. I cannot cook, but somebody who can cook is Natalie. <laughs> so go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Natalie Girelli. Um, I'm one of the Meze authors. I've written The Food We Love, um, which is this book here. Um, home cooked nourishing food for family life. I'm going to teach Lizzie how to cook this spiced couscous and roasted vegetable dish, which is absolutely beautiful, um, really vibrant, a little bit spicy, uh, suitable for vegetarians and um, yeah, really easy to do. Mm. So we've got the vegetables in the oven already. We're going to pop that on our Instagram and our TikTok. So if you're interested in that again, you know where to find it. Um, but we're going to start off with some couscous, I believe. We've got some wholemeal couscous that we okay. filled up from our zero waste shop earlier. Mm -hmm. We need 250 grams, okay, so, so just wait straight in there. just one grams, yeah. Okay. Particularly the wholemeal because it's more fibre, it's more nutrients. Mm. There, there we are, well fine. done. I've already made you some vegetable stock okay. with some organic stock cube. And we can probably take away the scales now. So if you pour this over mm -hmm. and then it's, it's hot stock and it will just absorb into the couscous. Okay. So slowly or just, just go pour it for over, it? Go for it. Fine. And this is great because there's no cooking involved mm. as such. It's yeah. more of ab absorbing the hot yeah. liquid. There we are. Okay. So but with couscous, no, no, we're adding some spice to this because Ooh. I quite like a bit of taste in there, extra yeah. taste. So the stock gives it a nice, a nice background flavour. But what we've got is I'm going to, I'm going to add, well you can add, <laughs> we've got some smoked paprika. Yum. Smell that, that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, smoky. Yum. Yeah, that's really it's nice. Not, it's not hot, it's mm. sweet paprika. Yes. Um, you can definitely smell the smokiness as yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. Flat, like that? Or is that very neat? Yeah, that's that's good. I'll go over it with the um, with the knife. There we go. Yeah. So one, you go, add another. Is that perfect? Perfect, yeah. And let's carry on with the measuring the spices before we okay. stir. So we've got some chili flakes. Now these are mm. quite hot and spicy. Okay. So use the end of a knife or use okay. a little tiny spoon, whatever you like. Okay. If you like it spicy, add a few more. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> that is yeah, that too much perfect. or is that? Perfect. I think I probably like like medium spice. Yeah. Cumin. Yum. And we've got half a teaspoon. Oh, smell that. I love cumin. Oh, wow. Really earthiness. Mm. It makes you think of faraway places. Yeah. Just stir it around now a little bit because that water is starting Wow. To That's like absorbed really quickly. And we'll put it to one side to finish absorbing, and, and those spices can also sort cool. of infusing into the liquid there. Next thing I think is we'll weigh out some pumpkin seeds because mm. we want to start toasting those because when we okay. serve it, we'll put those on top. Yeah. If you want to weigh out some 30 grams or so, I mean, if you particularly like them more. Yeah. It's always it's like, so you, know, you know when you're doing like petrol and you like <laughs> want to get it bang on like 30 pounds? <laughs> oh, there you've got I'm it. There one you over. No, 31. Go Fine. over and we need to toast them. So I've got a little okay. pan going here. And shake them about until you hear them pop. Pop! So you can hear them and see them popping. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up some of the feta because okay. when, we've, when we serve it, we'll have the feta cheese crumbled. So pumpkin seeds can garnish salads hot dishes, cold dishes with them. Really beautiful addition to lots of meals and really, really nutritious. Yeah. And the contrast of colours in this dish, we've got the couscous with the spices, which is sort of makes it a bit orange. We've got the roasted veg, which is so colourful. We've got reds, yellows, greens. Then we've got this white feta cheese and the pumpkin seeds green on top. So they'll go a little bit brown around the edges as well. Yeah because the natural oils in the pumpkin. Oh. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't that loud. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. Keep them moving. Okay, I'll turn the heat off now. I'm going to get them to the rest in there. So Thank you. now the couscous has absorbed mm -hmm. a grind of salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is this, this is pepper? pepper? A few grinds of black pepper. A lot like or a bit? Like or... A bit. Okay, that's great. And a little bit of salt, tiny bit of salt. And two grinds, that's lovely. Okay. 
and then you've got a nice big fork there. Mm -hmm. So you fork up the grains. Yeah, don't don't mash them. Okay. Fluff them. Fluff. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what a great word! It's a great word. <laughs> Make them fluffy. Fluff. Okay. Fluffy. I think fat is one of my favourite cheeses. You know. Mm, I think it's up there fat. with halloumi and Wensleydale. Oh, I love yeah. Wensleydale. But you know, it, you could use Wensleydale or Lancashire yeah. cheese. It, it, any tart, mm. kind of hard, crumbly cheese. Yeah. Works very well with those sweet roasted vegetables. Yeah. Ah. Okay. What next? We're waiting for the vegetables. Oh, wow. That's it. We've got loads of time. That. Wow. Okay. We so can chop some lemon because, to go on the side. But because that's it. We'll do that off camera, I think. And I think we will just get back to you when we are yeah. building it all. I can't believe it was that easy. Yeah. It really Cooking is, is easy. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> all right. Good to go. So, so we've got the couscous going in. And now that can be warm or it can be cold. Yeah. Or however, you, however you're wanting it. Today we're having it warm. So, Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to get you a bigger spoon. Would you like to serve out some of these veg? Cool. There we are. Is that not burning your hands? No, I, it's just warm now. It's, okay. uh, it's surprising how quickly these things go yeah. off, especially on the edges. The vegetables have gone quite juicy, but they will still be a little bit al dente. So something Natalie said earlier was that, you know, if you like them maybe a little bit more roasty, just leave them in for longer yeah, but if yeah. you like them slightly more like juicy mm -hmm. then just do them as we've done yeah. how long did they go in for they were 20 minutes 20 minutes so you could yeah at what temperature that was gas mark four these veg are great um also on pasta mm. um, or yeah. as toppings to bruschetta or pizza toppings even yeah or you can blend them up and make them into a soup or a sauce yeah. there's, there's so many uses for yeah. them Want to put your crumble some of your feta on? Mm. So do I just go in? I have just washed my hands. Tools, yes. Right. <laughs> I can get you a spoon. Yeah, yeah. It's too late now. I'm going in. Perfect. Right. So crumble. we've got those there. Yeah. I love feta so much. Feta comes from goat. Goat and sheep. Sheep. It's a mixture. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I find really crazy is that mm, the animal that mozzarella comes from. Mm. Do you know? Well, you can get buffalo mozzarella, yeah, which is the nicest kind. Exactly, it? beautiful. I just find it bizarre that we've actually decided to make a <laughs> cheese a from bu a buffalo. buffalo, and it sounds so obvious because buffalo mozzarella, like you've heard it, but you would never ever think <laughs> something's actually come from a buffalo. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. We don't see them really. In the I've field, gone rather overboard. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, perfect. Because yeah. that's the quantity that for for the fab. For the yeah. yeah, yeah. Use it all up, actually. Because the uh, more the merrier. Yeah. So just sprinkle. Yeah. Do you know what this would? I know we're in winter now, but this would be such mm. a good like picnic, like garden party mm, sharing. Yeah, because you can have it cold, like you said. Like I think. Roasted vegetables in autumn is so nice as well. Oh yes, and different well, kinds of vegetables. Yeah, but yeah. in summer I feel yeah. like this cold would just be mm. such a mm. good party piece. Yeah, yeah. And you can drizzle it with some nice oil if you want mm. to, just to, uh, yeah, just to add it. There we are. Wow. That's great. Yay! Wonderful. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> and and you like, it's so it easy. Now. I would love to taste it. I'll get them um, fork. Yeah, definitely. Yes, please. Right, okay. I want to get like everything on my fork, but I don't even think that's possible. Yeah. Heard it. Mm. You get the different flavours. Yeah, load. The feta, because it's, when I keep going on about feta, it's my favourite cheese. But it, you can taste the tang against the, yes. the cuscus with the spices and Yeah. It's subtle, stuff. it's subtle, it's not too mm. overpowering, but just nice. That's so good. Mm. Fab! So that was really, really yeah. easy, and I genuinely do feel like I can make that at home as well. Like it was, yeah. oh, I'd literally just got a kick of the like, probably some kind of chilli. Chilli, could you put some chilli flakes Yeah, on? it literally yeah. just kind of, that was a really nice like after mm. edge, yeah, mm. that's a good way to describe it. Thank you so much for teaching me. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> um, we've got loads more content coming, um, so make sure you keep an eye out for all the content that we are making today yep. and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you do you know what to do <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for watching goodbye Bye.